Hi everyone, welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you today? Have you been keeping nice and warm? Are you ready to read a book with us? Today we have Dog Loves Books by Louise Yates. Let's have a look. Dog Loves Books. Dog loved books. He loved the smell of them and he loved the feel of them. He loved everything about them. Dogs loved books so much that he decided to open his own bookshop. He unwrapped, unpacked, and stacked the books ready for the grand opening. When the day of the grand opening finally came, Dog had a bath, dried his hair, and blew his nose and threw open the door to greet his new customers. But there was no one there, so Dog tried to keep busy. And then, a lady came into the shop. I'll have tea with milk and two sugars, she said. I'm sorry, said Dog, but this is a bookshop. I only sell books. The lady walked out. Dog was alone. He waited and waited. Then a man came into the shop to ask for directions. When he left, Dog was downhearted. But not for long. He wouldn't wait a moment more. Dog fetched a book from the shelf and began to read. When he read, he forgot that he was waiting. When he read, he forgot that he was alone. When he read, he forgot that he was in a bookshop. And when one adventure ended, Doc simply took another book down from the shelf. And a new adventure began. So Dog was somewhere else altogether when a customer came into the shop to ask for a book. Dog knew exactly which ones to recommend. Dog loves books, but most of all, he loves to share them. And that was Dog Loves Books. Do you love books? How much do you love books? Do you love sharing them as well? If you like to own a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Thanks so much for dropping by. Do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you back here soon. You take care. Bye-bye. Today we have Reed Island by Nicole Magistro. Let's have a look. Reed Island. There is a place beneath the stars that welcomes friends from near and far. Just after dawn, the sun peeks through, the mighty sea makes way for you. Past rocky cliffs and cozy nooks, you'll find an island made of books. A sea wolf howls, her lilton cry is like a soothing lullaby. Every creature knows that sound, they know it's safe to come around. Each one comes here for story time, for books with pictures, prose, and rhyme. Starfish dance and salmon rain, the raven circles his domain.
A grizzly lumbers from her cave. An eagle lands. A humpback waves. A moose sniffs at the salty air. Who comes now? Rare spirit bear. From high up in the snowy peaks, a gang of elk can hear wolf speak. Cascading downhill, young and old, quick before the tail unfolds. Now fox arrives with cougar, mouse, and butterflies to fill the house. Joyfully they congregate, circling in to celebrate. Can you join them? Just be still, breathe in, breathe out, listen well. Relax, observe, explore, let's go. Remember this, a story flows. From out to in, from here to there, books can take you anywhere. To the city, into space, to a very quiet place, to a rainbow reaching high, to the deepest, darkest sky. Back to the sea where stories float, set sail upon your tiny boat. The map inside is all you need. It brings you here each time you read. For make-believe, Though it may look, there's an island made of books. This world of stories, safe and true, is always here to welcome you. Be still, breathe out and in again, and listen for your island friends. And that was Reed Island. That was quite beautiful, don't you think? Books are so special. If you'd like to own a copy of this special book, the links are in our description below. The links are in our description below. And if you haven't, do subscribe and click on the bell for more stories like this. Give us a like or leave us a comment about your favorite book. We always love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family, have lots of playtime, have lots of fun, and tell your family you love them lots. We'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.